Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking shut up. Queensbury's latest signing. Uh, you're still 17 years old. You're going to be turning over. Uh, we're here professional debut in November, December, hopefully. And uh, I hear you're called the star boy. Why are you the star boy? Because I always aim for the stars. And to be honest with you, I think I'm already at a top, top level. So I think that's the reason that they give me the nickname. It sounds an appropriate nickname. Just telling me off camera about uh, your amateur pedigree, etc., and what you've won. Just run us through your achievements. Yeah, so I, in, I had 60 amateur fights. I ended up winning uh, three national titles out of the 60 and uh, won Harringay Box Cup Best Box, which is the biggest box cup in Europe. So, won the best box for that tournament. Why is, it, why is it the right time to turn over now? The right time to turn over because I already think that, as I say, I'm already at the top, top level. I don't think they're amateurs really does me any favours anymore so I thought I'd turn over pro. Hmm. Just describe a, a little bit about your style please mate. So I'd, I'd say I can mix it up to do it all to be honest. I can, I'm not really a one star sort of fighter. I like love to mix it up. So, With that amateur background and all the achievements I'm sure there was uh, various promoters in this country wanting your signature. Why did you choose Queensbury and, and Frank Warren? Because I personally think Frank Warren is one of the best promoters in, in the game. Um, he's the best uh, for younger people as well. I had a few promoters, as you say, I had a few promoters looking for me, but I chose Frank Warren because I think he's the best. I know everyone says it, but with your pedigree coming into this sport, you're called the star boy. Uh, one day world title's the dream. Oh yeah, of course. Um, not just coming for one, coming for multiple, to be honest. So. It looks like uh, for a 17 year old, you talk well, you've got confidence, so I'm sure this will be a uh, yeah, it won't be the, the only chat we have. Well, I'm sure we'll have plenty more. Uh, look forward to your, your professional debut at the back end of this year. And uh, I'm sure you'll just be, what, training before then, keeping active in the gym? Oh, yeah, always keep active in the, in the gym. Can't get me out of the gym, honestly. I just love it. I just can't stop training. Talk to me quickly about who you're training with as well, mate. Training with Shiny Singh out of Warsaw. He's got, obviously, a very, very, very good club there up there. Very good stable. Um, got multiple rounds sparring with loads and loads of top, top class people. So I'm still only learning, still only young, but I do believe I'll be very, very good. Any favourite fighters that you watch you want to base your style off? No, to, uh, as they say, they all say it, but my own style, it's one of a kind, I'd like to say. I don't want to copy anyone, I want to be the one and only Dan Kerrigan. Fair enough, well you've got Canelo's hair near enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you can fight half as good as Canelo, we're in for a treat. So great to get you on, uh, Dan, first time on IFL. And uh, as I said, when you when you approach your professional debut, we'll get a word then, all right? That'll Join do, us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up. You dress up and you fucking shell up.